Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello everybody, welcome to the class. Konnichiwa. Well, in our previous classes we have been doing a lot of things in Japanese and in our last class we did adjectives. We learnt some adjectives and we did I adjectives if you remember. Well, today also we will continue doing I adjectives with some new things. But before that, as we always do, we will just go over the uh, assignments that I had given you in your previous class. So, let us see what the assignments are. Now, there was a small conversation for you in the previous uh, lesson. This is the conversation. You can now read the conversation and see if you have answered these questions properly. Now, in one of the previous lessons, we have done nanin imasu ka, how to count people. So, the question you look at, look at a group of people, look at a picture where a lot of people are present and you say nanin imasu ka, you want to ask how many people are there. So, well, let us see what is there in this, there are two people. So, well, what will you say? Futari imasu, that two people are present. Now. We have another picture over here. You have done this earlier as well. There is no one over here. So, what will you say? You will say, Heya ni dare ka imasu ka? Is someone in the room? And the answer would be, Dare mo imasen? Because there is no one present over here. So, instead of saying, Nan nin imasu ka? Because no one is there. So, you will say, Dare ka? which means someone or anyone. Dare ka imasu ka is someone over there. Dare mo imasen. There is no one over there. Dare ka is a noun meaning someone or anyone and soko ni dare ka imasu yo. Someone seems to be over there and dare ka imasu ka is someone over there. So, you can use dare ka like this. You can ask if someone is present or not. Now, we will do our adjectives as I had told you. I adjectives again in class today. Listen to this radio conversation and let us see how much you understand. Senshu no nichiyobi ni doko e ikimashita ka? Senshu no nichiyobi ni Neha san no kekkon kinenbi no party ga arimashita. Watashi wa tomodachi to issho ni soko e ikimashita. So, this is Pati wa doko de shita ka? Taj continental ni arimashita. Oki hotel desu ne. Rao san ni aimashita ka? Iye, Rao san wa kimasen de shita. Kumar san wa kimashita ka? Hai kimashita yo. Oku san to issu ni kimashita. So, this is So, well, now I will read it for you and explain. A san to B san no kaiwa between two people. Senshu no nichiyobi ni doko e ikimashita ka? Senshu no nichiyobi ni neha san no kekkon kinenbi no party ga arimashita. Watashi wa tomodachi to issho ni soko e ikimashita. So desu ka? Party wa doko deshita ka? Taj continental ni arimashita. Ooki hotel desu ne. Rao san ni aimashita ka? Iie, Rao san wa kimasen deshita. Kumar san wa kimashita ka? Hai, kimashita yo. Oku san to issho ni kimashita. So desu ka? So there are lot of new words over here. For example, you have issho ni in blue. Then you have oki hotel ni aimashita and kimasen deshita. Most of it I am sure is understood. To issho ni we will do later. Oki 
as you already know is big we did it last time and hoteru is hotel kimasen deshita is did not come ni aimashita is meet or as is given over here rao san ni aimashita ka did you meet rao san and aimashita verb will always take particle ni so well now the explanation of this is given over here in english and please remember this is not an exact translation of what is there in roman this is what you would actually say in english when you are talking so now we will do i adjectives as i had said adjectives are keyoshi so we can practice some adjectives in the beginning atsui nagai takai hayai tsuyoi samui tanoshi kurai akarui yowai now look at these pictures and tell me what it is well this polar bear is feeling very hot over here so atsui des let us see what it is atsui then we have an aeroplane hikoki so hayai hayai rayon rayon is very strong so tsuyoi hayai is fast quick also early sometimes there is a mountain and a small boy over there so well what is it takai takai as in height and takai also is expensive something is very very expensive now someone on this bullet train over here on shinkansen shinkansen is very very fast so one thing you could use is hayai which we have already done and another adjective we could use is nagai as i told you last time nagai is something which is long or lengthy then we have tanaka san or mariko san enjoying the music so tanoshi tanoshi is actually happy or glad feeling good tanoshi and then someone is all wearing a coat feeling very cold shivering so we have samui so you have so many adjectives new adjectives you could repeat after me once atsui samui tanoshi hayai nagai tsuyoi takai so well now we have some more adjectives for you well someone very thin like papai and that is hosoi as in shape hosoi as in structure then we have what does this look like futoi so you can see the contrast over here this is thin these lines are thin and this is thick so futoi is thick not like this this is a contrast opposite hosoi and futoi is over here then we have nezumi chan nezumi is a rat and what is with the rat yowai yowai is weak then we have people girls happily laughing smiling that is ureshi ureshi is happy now people are working here probably in a school or in an office so isogashi isogashi working busy then we have 
it is night time you can see moon and stars. So, it is dark kurai, kurai and then we have akarui, akarui is nice and bright or this could also be atsui, hot. So, these are some adjectives for you, I adjectives all ending in I you will see. Now, there was a word ishoni in the kaiva, ishoni means together with as is given e wa bi to ishoni place e ikimasu, e san wa b san to isho ni place e iki mas iki mas tanaka san wa san wa mariko san to isho ni maketo depato mise restaurant koen e iki mas so a san is going with b san to the restaurant mise department store koen any place so a san wa b san to isho ni place e Ikimasu. For example, it is given over here e wa bi to isho ni ega o mimasu. Watashi wa watashi wa tanaka san to isho ni ega o Mi ma shita. I saw a film with Tanaka san. So, you can use it like this to isho ni. E wa bi to isho ni picnic e ikimasu. I will go with B for a picnic. Watashi wa kodomo to isho ni koen e ikimasu. I will go with the children to the park. So, you can use isho ni like this. It is a good thing to know. Now, listen to this radio conversation between Arun and Rao. Rao san, ashita picnic e ikimashou ka? Ii desu ne. Doko e ikimasu ka? Furui jinja wa dou desu ka? Furui jinja desu ka? Ano ne, soko no koen wa hiroi desu yo. So shite soba wa oishi desu. Ah, so desu ka? Ja nanji ni ikimasu ka? こっから遠いですから朝8時頃は大丈夫ですかはい、大丈夫ですよ。そして駅前の店で美味しいケーキを買いましょう。ケーキの店でそこのケーキは美味しいです。はい、そうしましょう。じゃあ明日8時ね。
So, soba wa oishii desu. It is very, very tasty. Ah, so desu ka. Ja, nanji ni ikimasu ka? Koko kara toi desu kara asa hachiji goro wa daijoubu desu ka? Koko kara is from here. It is very, very far. So, hachiji goro around 8 o'clock wa daijoubu desu ka? Hai, daijoubu desu yo. So, shite, eki mai no mise de oishii keki o kaimashou. Let's buy tasty cakes from, delicious cakes from this shop in front of the station. Keki no mise de soko no keki wa oishi desu. Among the bakery shops, this bakery shop has very tasty cakes. Hai, so shimashou. Let's do that. Ja, ashita hachi ji ne. Hai. So, this is the conversation. There are quite a few new things. You have some I adjectives which we just did. Then you have kara which is a new way of using kara. Kara you know of course, but this is a new way method of using kara. And then we have particle de. You have done particle de, but this usage is again new. So, we will just do it very, very quickly over here. Now, look at the pictures and ask your friends where they will go on Sunday. So, you can see the picture over here. Well, this is a picture of a jinja of a temple, Japanese temple. Yasumi no hi ni doko e ikimasu ka? Furui jinja e ikimashou. Then we have this picture over here. And again the question is, yasumi no hi ni doko e ikimasu ka? Some people are watching a film. So, well, atarashi ega o mimashou ka? Shall we go and see the new film? So, these are simple ways of practicing ikimashou, I adjectives and asking questions doing simple dialogue. Now, we have yasumi no hi ni doko e ikimasu ka? As the previous question, omoshiroi tokoro e ikimasu. So, where are you going on a holiday? Well, I am going to a very, very interesting place. So, now what you can do is you can replace omoshiroi over here with atarashi, which is another I adjective meaning new. Urusai means making a lot of noise which is noisy and the noise sound is not very pleasant to the ear. Making lot of noise is urusai or disturbing is urusai. Toi, far. So, you can replace omoshiroi here with atarashi, urusai or toi or any other adjective and then you can put whatever you want for tokoro. You could place mise, school, gakko that is, toshokan, anything. So, yasumi no hi ni doko e ikimasu ka? Atarashi dipato e ikimasu. Urusai basho e ikimasen. So, you would not want to go to a place which is very noisy and crowded. So, urusai basho e ikimasen. Yasumi no hi ni doko e ikimasu ka? Toi tokoro e ikimashou. Let's go to a very, very far away place. So, this is how you can just practice your uh, I adjectives with different vocabulary that you have done. Now, natsu yasumi ni doko e ikimasu ka? Well, if you are going somewhere, then you can say America e ikimasu or Europa e ikimasu. But if you do not want to go anywhere, then doko e mo ikimasen. Doko e mo ikimasen. So, please remember that with doko e mo, verb is always in the negative. Always you will use a negative verb. Doko e mo ikimasen. Over here for natsu yasumi, you can replace Yasumi no hi ni doko e ikimasu ka? Nichi yobi ni doko e ikimasu ka? Ashita doko e ikimasu ka? 
or fuyu yasumi ni doko e ikimasu ka? Fuyu is winter. Fuyu yasumi ni doko e ikimasu ka? So if you want to go somewhere, you can say agura e ikimasu or tomodachi no uchi e ikimasu or America e ikimasu, Europa e ikimasu. Toshokan e ikimasu, any place e ikimasu. But if you do not want to go anywhere, then you would say doko e mo ikimasen. I do not want to go anywhere. I will not go anywhere. Doko e mo ikimasen. Now, we had this uh, sentence over there in the conversation among the bakery shops, this has the most uh, delicious cakes. So, well, among a certain group, within a certain group. So, make a list of questions using I adjectives and ask your friends what they have to say. Well, kudamono de oishi fruits wa nan desu ka? So, within the group of kudamono, within the group of fruits, which is the most tasty fruits wa nan desu ka? If you like ringo, ringo desu. So, for example, you can practice like this. The sentence is kuda mono de oishi fruits wa nan desu ka? So, over here, this de. De is different, usage of de is different. You have done with transport, mode of transport, what mode of transport you would use to go to a certain place. Kuruma de ikimasho, kuruma de ikimasho ka, kuruma de ikimasu ka. So, over here it is a little different. Within this group of kudamono, kudamono is a group, yasai, yasai de oishi yasai wa nan desu ka. Sports de, sports, sports is sports, sports no naka de, sports de, within sports, omoshiroi. wa nan desu ka? Omoshiroi sports wa nan desu ka? So, iro no naka de, you can also use iro, you have done iro. Iro no naka de, omoshiroi iro or suki iro, suki na iro wa nan desu ka? So, you can use any of these within a certain group. What do you, what is good or what is bad, what you find interesting, what you like, you can use it in this manner. Now, over here you have some groups, instead of kudamono, you can use, you can ask for terebi, kurasu, kaisha, kuni. Terebi is television, terebi de omoshiroi bangumi, bangumi is a serial. Terebi de omoshiroi bangumi wa nan desu ka? So, whatever the name of the bangumi, whatever bangumi you like, you can name it. Kurasu de urusai gakusei wa dare desu ka? Because we are using person over here, this gakusei over here, it cannot be nan, it has to be dare. For bangumi, because it is a thing, well we can say nan desu ka? Then kaisha de isogashi hito wa dare desu ka? Again, because it is hito, we have to use dare. So, you can use any of these with de, meaning within a certain group. Now, you can see that uh, this is the explanation given over here. For example, yasai de oishi yasai wa nan desu ka or sports de omoshiroi sports wa nan desu ka. So, you can practice like this. It means in, within, among a group or a category, showing a group or a category. Well, in the dialogue we had another de, which is again new for you. 
Now, this they shows, specifies, indicates action at a certain place or a location. For example, Wata shi tachi wa kurasu de benkyo shi mas. Now, what are we doing over here? We are all studying Japanese, and where are we studying? We are studying in the class. So, there is something happening, some activity is happening at this place. So, watashi tachi wa kurasu de benkyo shimasu. Now, you will say why not ni over here? This is a little different because with ni you show indicate presence. So, watashi tachi wa kurasu ni imasu. We are present over here, but what is the activity we are doing? We are studying. So, we are studying in the class. Watashi tachi wa kurasu de benkyo shimasu. Please remember with de it is action at a place and with ni it is presence at that point or location. Now, there was another uh, new way of using kara in the dialogue. Over here it is given kara, koko kara toi desu kara, asa hachiji goro wa daijobu desu ka. Koko kara means from here, toi desu, it is far. Thus, asa hachiji goro wa daijobu desu ka. So, with kara you can see over here we have two kara together in a sentence. Koko kara toi desu kara. So, this is the kara what we are going to do now. This kara you have already done from this point or place, is not it? From this place. So, koko kara toi desu, it is far. Thus, therefore, thus, therefore, and a reason is going to come. This is the reason, and what is going to follow is what you actually want to say. So, over here is given koko kara toi desu kara hachiji goro wa daijobu desu ka? Is 8 o'clock all right with you? Hai daijobu desu. So, kara is a particle and it indicates reason or cause, it is equivalent to so because therefore in English. You can see the example over here, toi desu kara hachiji ni ikimashou. It is far, so let us leave at 8 o'clock. And kyo wa isogashi desu kara ashita ikimasu. Because I am busy today, I will go tomorrow. There are two karas over here. One kara is from a certain time to a certain time and from a certain place to a certain place. And now, this kara over here indicates reason for doing a certain activity. So, always remember the reason is going to come first and the activity later. Because of this reason, I am going to do this. That is how it is going to be used in Japanese. Now, practice time expressions with adjectives and verbs, different adjectives different time expressions, different nouns, different verbs. You have this example over here. Kesa nani wo tabemashita ka? Oishi gohan wo tabemashita. So, kesa can be replaced with kino, kino no ban, yoru. Kino nani wo tabemashita ka? Oishi katlets wo tabemashita. Kino no ban nani wo tabemashita ka? Oishi pizza wo tabemashita. Yoru nani wo tabemashita ka? Oishi spaghetti wo tabemashita. So, you can replace and use these time expressions with different nouns and practice simple conversation. Now, practice time expressions once again with different verbs. Kesa nani wo tabemashita ka? Oishi gohan wo tabemashita. Kino nani wo tabemashita ka? Or kino Nani wo nomimashita ka? Atsui milk wo nomimashita. Atsui kocha wo nomimashita. Sumetai milk wo nomimashita. Sumetai is cold 
as in touch. Sumetai milk o nomimashita. Asa nani o nomimashita ka? Atatakai soup o nomimashita. Atatakai is nice and warm, nice and hot. So, when it is cold, if you have something really warm and hot, it feels good. That is atatakai. And soup, if it is nice and warm and hot, then only you enjoy it. So, well, yoru nani o shimashita ka? Omoshiroi ega o mimashita. So, with another verb, you can use a different adjective, noun and again do some conversation. See, it is being done again and again for you to remember the nouns, the verbs, the adjectives, the structure of the sentence and do simple conversation. Once you are ready with this simple conversation, then it is easy to do long conversation also. But you have to be first confident with these small dialogues. Practice adjectives with nouns. Kesa nani o nomimashita ka? Oishi juice o nomimashita. We just did this in the previous slide. So now, what should come with milk? Let us see. What milk o nomimashita ka? Sumetai milk o nomimashita. And kocha. What should come with kocha? Hai, atsui kocha o nomimashita. And with soup? Atatakai soup o nomi mashita. Now, practice adjectives with different verbs. Yoru nani o shimashita ka? Omoshiroi shosetsu o yomimashita. Shosetsu is a novel. So, novels are omoshiroi or they are boring, which is sumaranai. So, omoshiroi shosetsu o yomimashita. You can remove this over here and also use sumaranai with another noun, sumaranai rombun. Sumaranai is a boring thesis. Sumaranai rombun o yomimashita. Omoshiroi hon, interesting book o yomimashita. Omoshiroi ega o mimashita. So, whatever you are using, you have to keep in mind that the verb is to be used accordingly. You have to remember what verb to use with which word. Now, I think we should do some hiragana as well. We have been doing hiragana for our in our past lessons. So, today we will do ta. Now, you can see the stroke order very clearly 1, 2, 3 and 4 and how it is made please remember from left to right most of the time very rarely from right to left in fact almost 0. Ta, chi, tsu and it is T S U please tsu. Te, and to. Now, you have all of them right in front of you. Ta, chi, tsu, te and to. I will just write it down for you once over here on the board. Ta. Chi Su Te and To. So please remember Ta Chi Su Te and To. Now some kanji characters. These kanji characters are a little little difficult I would say, but because you know the word it will be easy to remember. So, the first one is kuroi. I will make it for you over here. Kuroi. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 
9, 10 and 11. So, it is an 11 stroke character like this ku ro i. Once again for you 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. It is an 11 stroke character. Please remember kuroi. Then we have akai. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. 7 stroke character. And then we have aoi. We have aoi over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So, I will draw it once again akai. Aoi. Aoi. Please remember this is a stroke order. When you look at these characters, automatically you will know what it means Kuroi, Akai, Aoi. Once again for you. Kuroi, Akai and Aoi. These are these three colors that we have done today. Now, some more I adjectives we have. Furui, Ureshi, Isogashi, Kurai, Akarui, Futoi, Hosoi, Urusai, Sumetai, Atatakai, Sumaranai, Muzukashi. So, all the meanings are given here. It is given in Hiragana as well. Now, it is your time to work. Match group A with group B. So, you have the colors in group A and you have the meanings given over here in group B. Now, look at the pictures below and fill in the blanks with kanji characters. Not only the ones we have done in this lesson, but also in our previous lessons and I think that is quite a bit for today. Lot of new things we have done, lot of new adjectives we have learnt and lot of new particles we have done. So, try to revise that at home, try to do it out loudly, practice with your partner and we will meet in our next lesson. Mata aimasho. Arigato.